Cool. So, uh, so I'll tell you what, let me uh, sort of start with uh, just a little bit of background. Um, the initial story uh, that that uh, I had written, was that almost about a year ago? Does that sound right? Or was it two years ago? I was thinking about it this morning and I couldn't remember. No, it was, it was actually this year. It was earlier. It was this spring. Was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we knew about it at that time. So, so oh, okay. We, we, were, we were actually going through, uh, at that point, we were still going through the uh, the application process. So we were, we were um, you know, they uh, they got a hold of us, I want to say winter time, late winter. And um, and so we kind of started the, the process of going through. And it's and it's uh, it's pretty rigorous, you know, to, to get through, um, you know, to, to actually get to the point where they're like, yeah, we want to fly you out here and, and actually give you a chance in front of the shark. So at the point where you were um, when you did the interview, we were in the middle of that. And so, so th they initially reached out to you guys. Yes. OK. Yeah. So they get uh, they get tons and tons of um, I mean, just tens and tens of thousands of, of applications every year. And uh, they they do reach out to some companies, and we happen to be one of them. But but that doesn't mean that uh, you you skip a couple steps, but it's, you still have to go through most of it, right? You know, so right. Um, and I, I I think I probably know the answer to this, but you know, for a company like yours, when when we talked in April, you know, it was when you guys were, you know, expanding at a pretty rapid rate. Mm -hmm. um, it was something that I that it seems like is probably still going on at this point, and so. Um, for a company like this, um, what are the advantages that that appearing on a show like Shark Tank can offer? Well, uh, the the big thing is just the exposure. So, of course, there's there's two sides to to Shark Tank. You know, there's the the Shark Tank effect, which is you know whether you get a deal, whether you don't get a deal. There's just there are millions and millions and millions of people that watch the show every single week. So. That type of exposure for a small business is you, you can't you can't even put a, a price tag on it. Uh, it changes your business from from the day before Shark Tank to the day after. You don't have the same business anymore. So, um, you, you know that type of exposure is, is is huge for us. I mean, it's 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 something that um, you know companies dream about. So that's I mean that's the uh, one side of it. Then also is the opportunity to part possibly partner with one of these brilliant. Um, sharks you know one of these these entrepreneurs that that are so good at what they do and they're they're branding experts and they're retail experts so that uh that opportunity is is huge as well um and <coughs> um as you're sort of uh getting ready for something like that um the i i imagine you know at this point you have uh, a pretty solidified uh you know sort of pitch that you give to customers um, how do you have to kind of modify that pitch whenever you're um, whenever you're talking to somebody like that, somebody who is a potential investor? So uh, it's really uh, really interesting uh, when um, when you're going through the application process. You you work with the producers and you work with their their team, and uh, you send in um, hey this is this is the pitch. This is you, you send a written version okay. of of what you want to do in front of the sharks, right? So. So pretty much you take, you know, for me in front of a, a customer, you know, call it 20 minutes, you know what I mean? That I'm kind of talking about my product and I'm talking about our company and all that stuff. And they're like, okay, now let's get that down to two minutes, right? <laughs> and so, so you, you write this, you, you write this thing out, um, you send it off to the producers and they go, okay, let's, let's do, and, and, um, up to that point I had weekly calls with, with the producing team that was assigned to me. Okay. So they, uh. They they had me write the uh, they had me write it out then read it to them They're like okay how do you think you did I'm like wow I don't know it felt really good <laughs> you know and he said all right you're at like two minutes forty five seconds you know so now you need to get it down to two minutes for for next week <laughs> so then we cut and cut and cut and cut and so then you do it and I'm like you know how does that how do you think I felt I'm like I th think it felt really good that's as that's as far as I can cut it was like a minute and fifty eight you know and then um, they're like okay now get it down to a minute thirty and <laughs> and so. Like literally, we had to get um, the story of our product that you know would normally take me twenty minutes. I had to get it down to a one minute pitch. <laughs> so it uh, it was a challenge for sure. Uh, you know, thankfully, I have amazing people that that work for me that were, that were able to help me help me do that because it's you have to be really creative with that. It's not like a um, it, it's not something that especially for for somebody that's so into the business. I'm like, there's no possible way. I can get this, my story 
into a minute, minute and a half. There's just, I can't do it, yeah. you know? And they're like, okay, well, let's, what if we cut this out? What if we cut that out? And you just break it down into, I mean, it's a handful of sentences. I mean, my pitch when it was all done was half a page. Yeah. And so, um, but that becomes, you know, uh, at the point where they go, hey, we're flying you out, that, be, that pitch becomes almost everything because right. you have to nail it. And so you practice it over and over. I, I, could, I was doing it in my sleep. I had headphones on, um, <laughs> listening to myself do it, uh, you know, flying out to LA. That's what I listened to. So it's, but, but, and thank goodness it got down to a minute because if it was any longer than that, I probably wouldn't have been able to memorize it. But, um. Um, and, you know, when, when we had talked initially, uh, you know, one of the things that, that, that you had said was, you know, that was, that, that sort of, of, of pitching was part of what was able to uh, allow you to get the business off the ground was to talk with some folks who were able to invest in the company and, and build it up to where it is today. Did you look at uh, this opportunity to go on Shark Tank as sort of an extension of that, as a, as a uh, not just, like you said, a chance to uh, get exposure for your business, but also to possibly get, gain another great in, uh, investment partner? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, you know, an opportunity to, to, to partner with any of them is, is huge. They're, you know, number one, they, they have funds, which are great for, for small businesses, the, you know, but the, the other side of it is just their, their expertise. And, but, the, you know, the, the pitch that I did with my initial investment partners um, wasn't terribly far off from what I had to do with, with Shark Tank. You know, the numbers and things like that were different because, you know, I was starting at zero and right. I was talking about <laughs> right. potential versus, you know, on, you know, with, with Shark Tank, we're talking about here's where we are today, um, along with here's where we think we're going in the future. So I also, you know, you don't have quite the same amount of, of pressure um, of having cameras, you know, all around you and stuff as you're as you're talking about your numbers and things like that. And also not needing to have them memorized, right. um, you know, memorizing the numbers for a company like ours that, that is, you know, a lot of the Shark Tank companies are a little bit smaller. Uh, they don't have quite as much um, pressure. It's like, yeah, hey, we, we did 50,000 in sales, you know, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for us, we're a, we're a little bit of a bigger company. So we're, you know, we're multi millions of dollars in, in sales and, and we have, you have to justify your valuation and, and really understand, um, what they would be looking for as investors so that you can um, talk intelligently about, you know, why they shouldn't, should invest in your company. Right. So that took a lot of prep. Uh, the, uh, my partners and I worked on that for, for several weeks and the week before leading up to it, um, I had, I had one goal was to make sure that Mr. Wonderful did, would not look at me and go, you don't know your numbers. So, um, <laughs> I was, I was quizzed and I was, you know, my numbers were, were really beaten into to me. Um, and, and again, luckily I have great partners that, you, you know, understood what investors like that look for. So they were able to help me like, Hey, you're probably going to get asked this. Here's, you know, here's where we are. And, and, you know, our current accountants and all those people would help us to, to formulate the, the, um, the the story with with our financials that uh, an investment group would would be interested in, in investing in. Okay. So. Um, uh, walk me through uh, the process of appearing on a uh, nationally televised show on a on a major television network. What's just sort of the the atmosphere like in a uh, you know in a studio like that? Um, you know, I imagine, you know, we're sitting here in the podcast studio under what I imagine is, is relatively low lighting compared to <laughs> what you would have on a, on a television set. What's it sort of like being on the set of a show like that? Um, it's incredible. It's, it's terribly surreal. Um, you know, going into the soundstage, you know, first of all, pulling on the lot at Sony Pictures is, is crazy, uh, <laughs> I, you know, and, and then there's a trailer that had my name on it, you know, um, so again, it was just, it was a terribly surreal, um, humbling experience. But then, um, you know, one of the things about um, the show is, is that, you know, when, you know, when you're on the soundstage, you can actually hear the other people, excuse me, the other people that are um, pitching before you. Okay. So there's this anticipation that happens as you're hearing them, you're hearing the sharks, you know, as you walk in, you kind of see the, you kind of see the shark tank thing. And it, it is exactly the way, like, 
other than the fact that it's in a huge building, mm -hmm. that set looks exactly the same as what you see on the show. Right. So the doors are there, the hallway that's going down with the with the shark tanks, you know, on the sides. <laughs> All of that stuff is is right there. What you don't see is the cameras, the cameramen, the sound techs, all of that stuff, the, all of the support staff that is all around, and they are busy the yeah. entire time. So, um, yeah, it's really, um, it's, it's just, it's crazy. And, and I can't imagine, I, I do, you know, I've done public speaking in the past and things like that. I can't imagine having no experience at all in that type of atmosphere. And again, not that I have experience in that type of atmosphere, but not, not having any experience with public speaking and things like that. And then going into that atmosphere, I mean, it, it would be, oh my God, you'd want to pass out. Um, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to be a little, you know, I was a little sick to my stomach. Um, but it is, uh, it's, an, it's an incredible experience. I mean, number, I mean, the other side of it too is the producing staff and all that stuff, um, they're, they're, they're amazing because they're used to, these are everyday people. You, you know what I mean? That, that, that these are just people that have started a business um, and they, they believe in their business um, but they're not professional actors or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So they really, they they really help you through the whole, the whole process. They're right there, holding your hand, making sure that you understand what's going on, um, and helping to, you know, helping to make you comfortable through the whole whole thing. What uh, what would you say that you enjoyed the most about sort of the whole process? Uh, being done. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the um, yeah, I mean. Uh, the anticipation, um, you know, the doing it is is the thing that I enjoyed the most. Like, if that makes sense. Like, I was just saying, like, it yeah. was you know, was there was there a point, you know, during uh, the the one minute of your pitch, <laughs> you know, where where you know you sort of really started to feel like this is going really well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, as opposed to just what what I would be doing, which is probably just flop sweating. <laughs> and <laughs> I um I you know the where I got comfortable is once the interaction started. Okay. So, um, for, for me, as I was kind of doing the, you know, as I was doing the pitch and, and all of, all of that side of things. And I was, I was teasing a, a friend of mine who I, I actually do the podcast with. He also does public speaking. And there's this, there's this point where sometimes your, your mouth and your brain get kind of disconnected. Like where you're, you're thinking one thing, right. And, and there you're not, the, the sharks are number one, they're, all um aggressive people right they they are you know they're a type personalities or they wouldn't be sitting there yeah um so they're firing questions off you know they're 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 kind of and what you see on the show is what happens in real life they're talking over each other um you know they have you know this one wants more attention on their question this wants more more, more attention so there might be three open questions at the same time right that um that you're trying to digest those questions, trying to formulate an answer, all while speaking at the same time. <laughs> so, uh, so there was this point of a little bit of panic where my mouth and my brain weren't hooked up. <laughs> you know, where where I'm like, what am I saying right now? And what, what, and so I had to have this, I had to have this mental fight, like you know, like then then all of a sudden my brain's talking to my brain, it, it, like I'm like come on, get it together, Joe, get it together. <laughs> but um, but so. I would say, and, and you're in there like, you know, the, the segment's 10 to 12 minutes, right? You're in there for a lot longer than that, yeah. you know? So um, the, uh, you know, I, there was a point where I got comfortable once I started talking about, you know, my company and things like that. But there was, it was almost like um, I hated the pitch part. I, I just, I, I, I did. I just, I just didn't like that, that little like, you know, one to two minutes. Um, and, uh, the, but then um, we started talking and they do like the general questions, you know, but then then when it became a little bit more, you know, personable, you, you know, where, you know, you kind of took take that deep breath. I got really, really comfortable. And so that was about like about halfway through. Um, you just kind of go, oh, OK, like you're not going to die. <laughs> you know, like um, you're doing all right. You haven't thrown up yet. <laughs> so so um, but. But ultimately, I mean, it is a tremendous amount of pressure, you know. So uh, the moment where you come off, they do some, and you've probably seen the show, they do some like um, after little things, yeah. you know, like, how was your experience? You know, that once you get through all of that and then you're just like, whew, you know, um, that was, you know, that was the moment where you're like, okay, this was, this was an amazing experience. So, um, and again, 
uh, companies that go on, unless they just do absolutely so horrible, you know, where it's just, they get embarrassed and, and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, once you get through and you're like, wow, this was, this was something that most companies, most people don't get, get a chance to do. Yeah. So, you know, once that, that hits you and you're just like, wow, this is okay. You know, we're, you know, we, we, we made it, we made it through. So, um, and, and sending the, the text to my wife saying, you know, Hey, I survived <laughs> was, was great too. Very cool. And so, uh, the show airs January 5th, January 5th at what time at nine o'clock on ABC. So really, uh, I hope, uh, you know, I hope all of the, all of your, uh, readers watch, um, you know, I, I, I was actually surprised. There's been a handful of Pittsburgh companies that uh, have been on the show. Yeah. So, uh, you know, here I thought I was unique and special, but, <laughs> but, but the show has been on for 11 years. So, you know, there's, there's been a handful of entrepreneurs out of, out of Pittsburgh that have been on the show, um, which is great. I'm, I'm happy to join those ranks. That's, that's fantastic. Well, congratulations on the opportunity and uh, look forward to, uh, to seeing what happens. Well, thank you. Appreciate it.